Welcome to Ways of the World. If you watch our previous video, then you know the kind of train we took to get to El Bazan. And honestly, we were not expecting much of the city after taking this train to get there. All aboard the Albania Express. But we nicknamed El Bazan the city of surprises. We didn't do much here, but it felt good to witness local life, run a few necessary errands, and try some of the most delicious traditional foods of our travels throughout Albania. Hello. Hello. Good morning. This is your store? This is my store. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have burek? Burek. Uh, can we try one? The burek? Yeah. yeah. And then one burek in the dish. Oh. Do you know what's inside? It's actually just... Burek. Burek. Uh -huh. Drinking water. Uh-huh. And you, you have it with the pot. With the pot. Mm -hmm. It's just like that. And this burek is mishi or spinach or cheese? It's just plain burek. Plain burek. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm on Google as well. I'm in my business. So. Yeah, that's how I found it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah. You have good yeah, reviews. Good. <laughs> Actually, most of them are my friends. Yeah, it? that's usually how it is. <laughs> that's okay. I trust them too. <laughs> This is like carbs on carbs dipped in fat. CMYB. And love. Very delicious. So we went to like this like super local shop and they make this thing called bogache. And it's basically just like plain butter, like dipped in butter, put inside a bread. It's also dipped in butter. And it smells delicious, it looks delicious. And you can only find it here in Abbasan. So let's give it a try. The butter is so good. <laughs> it's delicious. It tastes like the butter is just so rich. Like it basically tastes like butter. But like <laughs> delicious bread and it's awesome. The perfect summertime <laughs> breakfast. So it's kind of sour. I don't know how to explain it in English. Yeah. That's also Perfect typical to Albasan. Or... Yeah, it goes with the ice cream. Oh. So if you have ice cream, you put it inside, dip it inside. Okay. Really? <laughs> the boss. But you also drink it throughout the day, like this, or no? I do, I mean, it's uh, refreshing, it's... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it too much, because I'm not sure if you like it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And boss, boss, you said. Boss. Boss. Z, Z. Look at you, you look like a total of a sunny. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Bogach and boss. It's like a fermented cornstarch? Mm -hmm. Corn? Mm-hmm. Is this sweet? Uh, it's sour. It's very strange. It's like a little bit thick because of the cornstarch, obviously. And maybe you can taste like the, the ferment. It's like a vinegar, like a thick vinegar, which doesn't sound very good. It's kind of refreshing. It's like beer. A little bit, yeah. Right? It tastes a little bit like skunky beer, but it's like not bad. I like it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. We had no idea that we would try boss. We never heard of boss, but the guy is very new nice. experiences. Very nice. We mentioned not knowing anything about Elbasan before coming here, but it turns out that it was actually a very important city. So we're inside castle walls now in the old town, and this castle belonged to both the Byzantine and Ottoman empires. So when it was part of the Byzantine Empire, it was along the Via Egnati route, I think something like that, which connected the coast of Albania all the way to Byzantium or Istanbul. And then when it was part of the Ottoman Empire, they used this as a base to fight Skanderbeg, the Albanian national hero. This was all in the 1400s, so super historic. And again, we had no idea <laughs> before, like today, I did a little bit of research. And I was like, oh wow, this is actually a very important spot. Welcome to my castle. So the castle that we mentioned earlier, inside the walls, they built 
a bunch of cool cafes and restaurants and it's beautiful it's like all this like beautiful trees and like a garden and they all have like really nice music and the food is very good because we already ate here yesterday but today we're gonna have coffee thankfully albanians they love coffee as much as we do and it seems like it's siesta time so that's when you know it's time for coffee We have two cappuccinos. Cold or hot? Do you want, or do oh, you want actually, cold? no, cold. Yeah, yeah too cold. Okay. And uh, water with gas? Yes. Large? Or one with and one with hot? No, just one large water with gas. Okay. okay. Thank you. The English here in Albania has been surprisingly good, and therefore our Albanian hasn't picked up. So we only know like a couple words. Tell us. And on one side, it's kind of frustrating, but on the other side, it's been kind of nice to <laughs> order in English. What do I know? I know Fula, chicken. Palaminderitz is thank you. Uya is water. Bira, beer. Vera, wine. What else do I All know? All these words. Uh, yeah. Yes and no. Oh, uh, po means yes. Yo means no. So it's like pollo in Spanish. <laughs> and mira menges, something like that is good morning, but I haven't used that yet in the field. So I don't know if they would understand me if I said mira menges. <laughs> And they have that morning. hello, that hello, how are you? Ah, see any. See any, that's CNA very important. How are you? you always say that when you... Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's not really picking up the same way as our Turkish kind of had, but... Because we know like at least 10 words. 10 essentials, but I'm hoping like once we go into the country a little bit more that they speak like no English and then we're forced to try our Albanian and like learn it. So right now it's been a little bit easy. <laughs> We've been lazy. It's time for us to leave our cozy little spot in the castle. We're hungry, we haven't had anything to eat since this morning when we had the Bordek. And we found a really cool spot that we can't wait to show you. It looks like our kind of spot and the best part is that they sell a lot of traditional Albanian foods that we haven't had the chance to try. We'll explain why when we're there, but now let's go and eat. This is so cute. It's red wine. A whole goblet. <laughs> this is awesome. I love it. For like two dollars. <laughs> it's nice and cold and refreshing. So we've been in Albania for almost three weeks and we haven't had much Albanian food. And that's because when we go to restaurants, it always seems to be like triple the price of like anything else, like pizza or pasta. So we've eaten a lot of Italian, a little bit of Greek, but not a ton of Albanian. So we got kind of lucky here today. We're trying two regional dishes from like Alba San. One of them is like a casserole with yogurt and veal. And the other, uh, I think it's something kind of like similar, but then with like red peppers and tomatoes and onions. And also a stuffed pepper dish with rice. So a lot of good stuff that we haven't tried before. And I think kind of typical to Alba San. So it should be good. Yeah. Look where we are. This place is cool. This place is awesome. Look at that. <laughs> Fresh bread. So we didn't order salad or bread, and he just brought us like his family recipe bread that he just made, and this delicious salad. They're very passionate about the salads here in Albania, and they make them so well, right? Like they're mm -hmm. delicious, so fresh, all farm to table. This is gonna be great. <laughs> this 
That's some so good buka, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. We just learned. You say buka. Buka? It's how you say bread. Buka. It's how you say bread in Albania. Ah, mm. This bread is delicious. The for guess is with, with the bread? You did with the bread? Yes. Okay. Yes? Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Just thank you. Okay. This is like on fire. About to try the ferguese with this delicious, freshly baked bread. It's like a local cottage cheese, I think, with a lot of butter and olive oil and onions and peppers and love. <laughs> oh, it looks good. It's nice and hot. Mm. It's awesome. The herbs are really good. Like you can really taste them come through. And besides for that, just like very rich. Like the butter they use here, it's like not from the supermarket. It's like a real, like authentic butter. This is awesome. And the bread. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of this. Now we're gonna try the stuffed peppers. I actually don't know what's in them. It seems like a like a smushy rice, right? Like is is it rice? Like what's in it? I think it's rice. It's yeah. supposed to be rice, but it's like. A different kind of rice, I think. It smells so good. I just love peppers. Mmm. We're like, it has tomatoes. And the green peppers here are delicious. Some of the best we've ever had. And you can, the same uh, herb that is in here, it's in here too because I can taste it. I don't know what it is. We'll look it up and maybe we can put it in like the text because I really don't know what it is. But this is, it's like kind of like a risotto, right? And it's all like soft and tender and like all the flavors like blend together. The tomato, the peppers, delicious. So this is the famous tapkosi, a dish that we've been dying to try. I just asked our restaurant owner like what exactly it was. And apparently this is like a yogurt. And he said this, this recipe has been around for 200 years. It's a family recipe. It's the best in Albania. The old dictator has eaten it before like with his like grandfather, I guess, who was like a, also a chef. They've been around for like four generations. I already tried some of the yogurt. It's like, it's kind of beefy, it's, but it's really good. You can use huge chunks of veal. You can also do lamb, but here they serve it with veal. So it's slow cooked, super tender. Mmm. It's very good. Very, very good. The best recipe in Albania. Certified for 200 years. We were just talking and I, I just can't believe that we didn't even have plans to like come here to this town and if it wouldn't have been for that train we wouldn't have ended up here and like the owner of the restaurant he's the nicest human and he cooks everything in this little kitchen behind me all by himself there's no one else here and he's just showing us like pictures of his family and like explaining like all the family recipes and how everything is like farm to table and they pick up everything from their farm it's all made fresh fresh all made from scratch like even the yogurt the cheese like everything and you can really taste it it doesn't taste like supermarket stuff you know like is there's like a freshness to everything i'm glad we ended up here i was on the city of surprises <laughs> that's how i'm going to label you <laughs> he has this guest books with the name of the restaurant for you to sign he showed us he has seven guest books from 134 different countries so like you you leave like your review here you write your country you write the date and then you write whatever your thoughts were so we're going to write one from venezuela one from the u.s this is nice mm -hmm. i like this this is very cute so if you come here look for our review on the venezuelan u.s page this book oh. memories we have one more thing on the agenda today, and that's to finally take care of this mop on my head. Show us. I've been needing a cup for like two months since Mexico, and it should finally happen here. A nice Albanian to... summer cut. <laughs> this one is close. I don't see a burger. Okay. Uh -huh. Is he good? 
Yeah. <laughs> you can see me. <laughs> you look fresh. He's my friend. Okay. <laughs> Where are you from? America? US? America? Yeah. Uh, which uh, states? From Florida? That's uh, Miami? Florida? Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Right. Feel lighter? I feel a lot lighter, yeah. Uh, Is there a lot on the floor? Oh yeah. The door. Mm -hmm. What do you say? I have a fresh cut like the Albanians. Might not stick out as much as a tourist now. <laughs> Smooth. That was a lot of fun. Those guys are so nice. There was like a translator who helped the entire process, and Matteo did a good job. That was cool. I like getting haircuts in foreign countries. Yeah, it's an experience. I got, got the shave. The shampoo, just like a whole new man. I was supposed to mention, this is something typical in Albania, that after dinner everyone comes outside and goes for a walk and either like catch up with their family or their neighbors and in Elbasan they close, out the, close down the streets and everyone's just out here in the main avenue going for a stroll. So cute. It's really fun. In the afternoon it's it. dead. At like yeah. noon there was no one out, now everyone's just... Taking a walk. The entire town is out. I'm ready to get moving. We are going back to Duras. If you saw how we got here, we took an old communist train, which was a once in a lifetime thing. It was way more memorable, but also kind of dirty and not something we want to go back on. So thankful that we have this bus to take us back on the one and a half hour trip to Duras. And from there, we hop on like a 10 hour ferry to go to Bari, Italy. So it's good we have a bus, a little bit more comfortable to get there. At least I like, break it up with something a little bit nicer than the train. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about Elbasan, leave them in the comments. And please don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you in a couple hours when we're going to restart, when we'll be waiting in a cafe to jump on the ferry to Italia. Italia. There you go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Questo mese, 30 euro, 30 euro, un, due camera, uno camera, due camera, bagno, balcon, due persone, 30 uh -huh. euro, total familia. Uh -huh. okay. Se altro mese, altro mese, 40 euro, a mangusto.